Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today we are picking new things for April. I'm really excited. April is my birthday month. I like to be a little festive during my birthday month. And so I'm going to pick some palettes and some blushes and some highlighters and maybe even some lippies and see what happens. So I do have some palettes in some projects that I do have over here to the side. However, we're going to pick more. Some of the palettes you're about to see were in my collab with Leanna Dalton for March. We chose 10 amazing spring palettes. And so some of these are from that because I really wanted to bring them in and start some spring looks. So the first one that I'm going to bring in is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I did get this from Mary and it is such a pretty palette and I'm really looking forward to using some of these greens, some of these muted greens, because I have some uh, singles that I think would look really good with them. I've used the pinks, I've used the browns. I want to use these greens for spring. And the Huda Mercury Retrograde. Again, beautiful spring palette. You have these really pretty pinks, this orange, this like teal shade. And so I am looking forward to using that. The Magic Minis by Juvia's. I got this from Ash when Ash decluttered it. And I just had this in a couple of months ago, but I didn't use it at all. And look at those beautiful spring shades. So I think I'm going to try to use this this month. Also the Nomad Fête de Provence palette. Beautiful spring shades. I've never used those yellows. I would really like to use the yellows. I've used these, these, and these. I don't think I've used these, but I, I do want to use the yellows. I'm not a yellow person. I don't usually use yellows, but I want to try to incorporate them in some looks. And then the last palette that I've chosen for the month before we go through my little bins is the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti. Now, one could argue that this is a summer palette, but it also has some beautiful spring shades and um, I want to get some use on it. I haven't used it a ton, but I have used it some, but yeah, I want to get some more use on that. And per use, we're going to go through my little bins. I'm going to pick one or two out of each one. I am going to pick some neutrals because you know me, I'm a neutral girl, but I also, I like to wear neutrals to work. Um, it's just, it's just easy. It's just easy like that. So what are we going to choose? These are all pretty neutral, all pretty neutral. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to try... I was trying to decide when I got this, if I was going to keep it or not. This is just a little, it was free with purchase. It was like in a bundle um, from Ulta. And these do have some really pretty spring shades. And I love these kind of shades right here. And I have been really liking gray with pink together. And so I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Besides the pans are really small. I don't know how deep they go, but the pans are really small. And I think I might try to pan this one at some point. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Why not? Okay. Now we have this one. Um, I used a couple of these last month. I used the green and I used the taupe. Um, I used this one last month. I used this one last month and I used this one last month. So I'm not going to use any of those. I think I'm going to actually use the Steve Laurent. This is the Wild Thing palette. I got this last year for my birthday from Laura, Laura the Bargain Hunter. And it is a beautiful, cool, neutral palette, and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to bring that in. Oh, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to bring anything in from this one. Let me see. Oh, um, I just had this one in last month. I didn't use it. That's really pretty. I'm going to bring this in. This uh, Pat McGrath Bridgerton. I got this from Leanna. And I think I'm going to bring that in. And then this last one is just a bunch of little guys. Um, my ColourPop quads. My 
Natasha Denona's Wet and Wild and all of those. Um, what am I going to bring in? Maybe I'm going to try, I think I'm going to bring in this. I haven't used it in so long. This is the Elf Bite Size Rose Water. I think I am. I think this and these shades will work really nicely together. Yes, I am. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Do I want to bring in something else from here? Um, let's see. Oh, this Ilmacaj is beautiful. I got this from Charlie, my friend. Charlie. I'm going to bring this in too. This will be a... Oh, you know what? I'm going to bring this in. And I'm going to bring in my... Because these are all like satiny and shimmer. And so I'm going to also bring in my Elf Love You A Latte. Because... Is that what this is called? Love You A Latte. Because this is all matte. Yes, I'm going to bring those in. Let me see. Let me see how those look together. I think those will be very pretty together. Oh, this packaging is so pretty. Yeah, I think I, I think I could make that work. That was ugh, so pretty. This is so rich. Like, look at that shimmer. It's so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Bring those in. I know that's three out of one thing, but you know what? Rules are made to be broken and they're my rules. So it doesn't matter. All right, let's pull some shocks. We're going to start with the neutral super shocks first. And you guys, I always have trouble choosing. I always have trouble choosing these because I just, I always reach for the, the same ones all the time. Tonight. That's an orange, 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 orange. Um, let's see. What is this one? Party of five. No, thank you. Did I, is, did I hit pan on that one? That was in my, no, I didn't. This was in my, um, love your eyeshadows project. Aster. I always choose that one. I'm going to try this Abbott Kenny. It's a really pretty brown shade. So I'm going to use that one and this one. This is called Mutts About You. It was their collection that they had that um, proceeds went to Humane Society. So this is, is this, hmm, yeah, I'm going to do that because I can also use those with this palette as well. Now let's pick some cool shades. I do have a couple in my, in some projects. I think I'm going to pull, Tea Party, did I use, have I used that? Yeah, I have used it. It's very peachy. Very, very peachy. Um, gosh, I don't even know. This is Flume. Plume, Plume. Back in the saddle. Oh, it's called In the Saddle. That's a really pretty pink. Looks like a pinky gold. And this is... Bubbly. No, I just used that. I just had that in. I'm going to do Mountain Lion and In the Saddle. The Mountain Lion is Gorge. It's got a pink, pinky flip to it. So that'll be pretty. Okay, we're going to pull some blushes. I do have, I haven't put my blushes away yet from last month, so that way they won't be in the way. But I do know that I'm going to pull this Willa. 
because it is a beautiful neutral-ish blush. No. Let's see. I know I'm going to pull this Cabana Boy because it is a bright, more of a pink. And I feel like I want to pull one of my Milani's because I, since I had them in a project, I have been neglecting them. But then again, I want this, is this pink sand? Oh, it's called Nevermore. That is a blush lighter. So, yep, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to pull that. I'm going to pull that. And I think that's it because I do have a couple of blushes and projects. I don't want to compete too much. And then my cream blush, Pink Sand. This is the one I was looking for. That is a cream blush. It is beautiful. Beautiful cream blush. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm also going to choose Floral Majesty. I almost chose this last time and I didn't. That's very pretty. And do I want to pull, these are pretty dark. Do I want to pull another cream? I am. I'm going to pull this cream blush. This is in, this is the So Susan Color Crush. And I actually think that I'm going to depot this and put it in some packaging that is a little bit easier to get a brush into but that's really, really pretty. So I'm going to pull that as well. Yay. Yay. You know what? I am going to pull something from my little uh, duos because these get neglected as well. And I'm going to go into this Morphe. Uh, it's never, I've never used it. And it's really pretty. It has three different types of shades in it. So it has a cool pink. This is a more of a cool neutral and then more that's one that's a little bit warmer. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull that. And then let's pull some powder highlighters. I have a couple, again, I have a couple in projects, but I love highlighters and I want to pull something. I think I'm going to end up, this is a pure nude highlighter from Essence and I'm actually going to end up frankening these two together because this is a little too gold for my liking and this is a little too icy for my liking. So I think I'm going to bringing them together and see what I get. Let me know if you want me to film that. Let me know if you want me to film the frankening. I'm still trying to decide, but I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we want something. I have pinks in projects. So I think I want something that's a little bit more neutral. Um, I don't know if this one is... I hate this packaging so much. That's really pretty. Do I want that one or do I want this one? I'm going to pull this one because I've never used it. And this is the Wet n Wild Marilyn Monroe. And it's called Cool Champagne. So it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. I think that's the only one I'm going to pull from there. And then let's do to a cream highlighter because I really want, I really like underpainting. I'm going to pull this because I haven't, it's been so long. This is the over the moon. And while my skin is still pale, um, that will be really pretty. Ooh, that's kind of dry. I might try to refresh that. Ooh, that's pretty glittery too. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm going to try to refresh it though, because as a dry, I mean, it's still, it's not super dry. 
It's not super dry. It is very glittery though. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. We'll see. We'll see about that. I don't think I want to underpaint with that though. The Flexitarian is perfect to underpaint with. And let's see if this is too dark. Oh gosh, that's so nice and creamy. Um, yeah, that's dark. That's more summer. These two are both some more summertime. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. This one. I'll pull this. I have my other, my pink one in here too. So it's in a project. So I'm going to pull that. Yay. That's what I'm doing. We're going to pull some lipsticks, although I don't know what. I'm telling you what, I don't have a whole lot of spring lipsticks, you guys. I don't. I don't have a lot of spring lipsticks. Uh, I'm going to pull this. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm not sure if I like it. I think I do, but I'm not sure. But it is a dark pink and I do love this formula. This is my one of my favorite lipstick formulas. So I'm gonna pick that, and then I'm going to choose, this is just one of those Hydrating Core. Yeah, I like that. Hydrating Core Lip, Lipstick Lip Balm thing. Hydrating Core Lip Shine is what it's called. And it's Elf, and I love it. It's really, really nice. I think that's all of that I'm going to choose and, um, I just, let me see, there is a Mac that I want. It's not that one. It's not that one. Is it this one? It is not that one. Hmm. I wonder if I already have it pulled. I do. I used it last month. Dang it. I'm going to put it back. Put it back in there. Um, let's see. I don't have a whole lot of spring lipsticks. I wear the same ones all the time. I'm not going to pull any. I'm not going to pull any bullets. Just, just these two guys. I might pull some, I might pull some liquid lipsticks, but let me tell you, I pulled this last month and this does not have a shade name. This is an Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Lip. Let me see again. Let me check and see if I'm just missing the shade name. No, I'm not. There's no shade name. I have been getting so many compliments on this and people are asking me like in my photos and in my videos, what lipstick I'm wearing. And this is it. I don't, there's no shade name and I'm not even sure if they sell it, but I've been pairing that with these two liners. This is Familia which is Melt, and this is a cheap thing that I got on Timu, but together they make the perfect lip liner shade, and I love it with that. So I'm going to keep that in because I've been wearing it, and that is spring-ish, spring-ish. So I am going to keep that in, but let me see if there's something else. Let's do a copacetic. Not that one though. Maybe we won't do a copacetic. Maybe for my neutral looks. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's dark. That's kind of dark. What did I put in last month? That's really dark too. I think I'm just going to keep in what I have. I don't think I'm going to pull anymore. I am going to put that one back. And then we have some glosses. Because no, I'm not a gloss person, but I am going to pull this. This is an Anastasia in the shade Venus. Yeah, Venus. And it just gives a little bit of color, but it has a lot of shine to it. It's very pretty. So I am going to pull that. That'll be 
look good with my little like peachy looks or whatever. And then I think I'm going to pull these all compete. These all compete with something that I have in there. I'm going to pull my lifter gloss. This is also not sticky and that'll look good with neutral looks as well. And then I have my city lips. This is pink. It's, it's actually clear with just a hint of pink. I have that in here. So I'm going to keep that in there because I actually like that. I actually like that lip gloss. So I'm going to keep that in there. We are going to pull in a couple of colored liners because I have a couple of bluer shades that I need to get use on. I need to get them out of my projects. And so I'm going to choose this. Is it Peacock? What's it called? It is a Peacock Blue. Oh, Gypsy Blue. It's called Gypsy Blue. It's very pretty. So I'm going to pull that. This super shock right here. I need to use this super shock. I need to use it and get it out of my project. I only have to use it three times, but I can't seem to use it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to pull that for that. And then I need something for my water line that is not white. That's too dark. Yeah, I'm going to pull that. This is the cream gel liner in Honey Dude. All right, then. Honey Dude. And I feel like I want to pull something else, but I'm not sure. These, these are all still sealed. These um, Odin's Eye ones are all still sealed. Maybe this. That's really pretty. I'm going to pull that. Maybe I'll use that with that. Oh, I know this linen. This is NYX and it's not a stark white and I really like it. So I'm going to pull that too. I have a couple that are over here that I've, that I'm keeping in from last month. Um, because they're the only ones like I only have this one brown liner. I have other types of browns, like it's just a taupe brown, but I don't have any brown brown liner. So I'm going to keep that in. And then I am going to put this back. This was one that I used on my waterline and it was really pretty, but I'm going to put that back. But the other ones I'm going to keep in here. I'm going to put this, this navy blue back, but I'm going to keep this green in here because I did pull that Natasha Denona and I think that that'll look really nice with the greens in that. And I should have already pulled these when I did, I should have already pulled these when I did my eyeshadows, but I forgot. So I'm going to grab this Chantico. Uh, this is so pretty. I got that in a ice cream beauty box. I'm going to pull that. And I'm going to pull this beauty for real. It's a really nice shimmery brown. And I think that'll work really well with uh, my neutral palettes. You know what else I'm going to pull? I'm going to pull this. I haven't used this. I put, I had this in my project three uses. I used it three times. It's so freaking pretty. We'll see if I can use it. We'll see if I can use it with my greens or I don't know, browns or whatever. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, you guys. All right, you guys, that's it. Those are what I'm pulling for the month of April. I'm hoping to get some really good use on those spring palettes and not just use my neutral ones all the time, which I do tend to do, but I love them. That's, that's where I'm happiest. So, uh, but I need to branch out, I need to branch out a little bit and use my stuff. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know in the comments below something that you chose to use this month. I would like to know. 
Until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.